The last day of school at Hillside High was supposed to be memorable, but for reasons far from celebratory. As the final bell rang, echoing through the emptying halls, a palpable sense of unease lingered in the air, inexplicable yet undeniable. Jenna, a senior, noticed it first. While her classmates rushed out, eager to embrace the freedom of summer, she felt an inexplicable pull to stay behind. The school, with its long, shadowy corridors and decades of history, seemed to whisper secrets, beckoning her to delve deeper into its forgotten spaces. Curiosity overcoming caution, Jenna wandered the halls, her footsteps echoing in the unnerving silence. The jubilant noise of her departing classmates faded, replaced by the building's eerie quiet. As she passed the abandoned classrooms and locked doors, a sudden chill swept through the air, and the faint sound of music drifted to her ears, a haunting melody that seemed to come from the school's old music room. Drawn to the sound, Jenna found herself standing before the music room's aged door, its surface marred by scratches and faded graffiti. The melody grew louder, a piano playing a slow, melancholic tune, as if someone or something was lost in its own world of sorrow and longing. With a tentative hand, Jenna pushed open the door, the music swelling to greet her. The room was shrouded in twilight, dust motes dancing in the slivers of light that pierced the gloom. The grand piano, its surface gleaming under the dusty air, stood at the center of the room, its keys moving with no visible player, producing the haunting melody that had lured her. Mesmerized, Jenna stepped closer, her eyes fixed on the keys dancing under unseen fingers. The air around her grew colder, the light dimmer, as if the room was slipping away from reality into a darker realm of its own. The melody took on a desperate tone, notes cascading in a torrent of silent screams and whispers. Jenna, unable to move, felt the sorrow of the unseen player wash over her, a grief so profound and ancient that it transcended time, speaking of tragedies long buried within the school's walls. As the last notes quivered in the air, a heavy silence fell. Jenna, her heart pounding, looked around the room, now devoid of the eerie presence. But the piano, its keys still quivering, held a final note in the air, a silent plea for acknowledgement. In the silence that followed, Jenna realized she was not alone. The shadows of the room seemed to coalesce, forming the outline of a figure near the piano, a figure that whispered of untold stories and forgotten lives, bound to the school and its darkest secrets. As Jenna stood frozen, the figure slowly turned towards her, its features obscured in shadow, and the school, with its decades of hidden sorrow, seemed to hold its breath, waiting for the veil of the past to be lifted, revealing the true horror of Hillside High's last day. The figure in the shadows began to materialize, its form gaining clarity and substance. Jenna could see it was dressed in attire from a bygone era, its clothes tattered and faded, the air around it seemed to thicken, charged with an unspoken anguish that resonated with the walls of the old music room. Jenna wanted to flee, to escape the oppressive atmosphere and the ghostly figure before her, but her feet were rooted to the spot, as if the school itself demanded her attention and refused to let her go. The figure stepped closer, its movements fluid yet unnerving, as if not bound by the laws of the physical world. As it approached, a flood of images and emotions surged through Jenna, visions of the past that played like a movie in her mind. She saw the school as it was decades ago, the same halls and rooms, but alive with the energy of a different era. Students in dated clothing filled the corridors, their laughter and chatter creating a stark contrast to the silence Jenna had experienced. The vision narrowed to the music room, where a young woman, much like Jenna, sat at the piano, her fingers dancing over the keys with a passionate grace. The music filled the room, but the atmosphere was tense, charged with an undercurrent of fear and secrecy. Jenna's vision shifted, the scenes accelerating through time, showing glimpses of sorrowful events, shadowy figures lurking in the corridors, and whispered conspiracies in hidden corners of the school. The young pianist appeared frequently in these visions, her expression growing increasingly troubled and isolated. Back in the present, the ghostly figure stood before Jenna, its eyes now visible, deep and sorrowful, locking onto hers with an intensity that conveyed a desperate need to be understood. The air trembled with the silent echoes of the past, and Jenna felt an overwhelming sadness, a connection to the pain and secrets that the figure bore. The school's hidden history was unraveling before her, tales of love, betrayal, and tragedy woven into the very fabric of the building. The figure, a remnant of that past, 
seem tethered to the music room, bound by the emotional turmoil of its final days. Jenna, empathically linked to the spectral entity, began to understand the truth of the haunting melody. It was a lament, a composition of loss and unresolved grief, played in an endless loop by the spirit who could find no peace. The figure reached out, its hand nearly touching Jenna, and the air filled with a palpable tension. In that moment, the boundary between the past and present blurred, and Jenna was pulled deeper into the mystery of the school's legacy, a participant in the unfolding drama of its hidden sorrows. The music room, a nexus of spectral energy, seemed to expand, revealing hidden doorways and passages, secret compartments of the school where the true extent of its history lay buried. Jenna realized she was only at the beginning of a journey that would unveil the dark heart of Hillside High, a journey that would uncover the reasons behind the school's haunting and the story of the young woman who played the piano with such desperate sorrow. As the spirit's hand touched Jenna, a rush of cold air enveloped her, the room darkened, and she was plunged into a world of shadows and whispers where the secrets of the last day of school were waiting to be revealed, the line between the living and the dead irrevocably blurred. In this shadow-filled realm, time and space twisted unnaturally, corridors stretching into infinity, and classrooms morphing into scenes from the past. Jenna, now deeply entwined with the spirit's essence, navigated this labyrinth of memories, each step revealing more of the school's concealed tragedies. The spirit guided her through the spectral version of Hillside High, where echoes of past incidents replayed like ghostly vignettes. Jenna witnessed arguments in hushed tones behind closed doors, clandestine meetings that ended in tears, and sinister plots concocted in the shadows. Each scene was a piece of the puzzle, hinting at a web of deceit and misfortune that had entangled the school for decades. They arrived at a secluded part of the school, an area Jenna recognized yet seemed more foreboding in this twilight world. Here, the visions intensified, centering on the young pianist, whose life seemed marked by both talent and tragedy. Her music was her solace, yet it also isolated her, making her the target of envy and malice. The spirit showed Jenna the pivotal events leading to its own demise, a tale of betrayal where close friends turned foes, driven by jealousy and a dark secret that the pianist had uncovered. She had stumbled upon something dangerous, something that threatened to expose the sinister undercurrents running through the school's veneer of respectability. Jenna felt the spirit's sorrow and fear as if they were her own, her heart racing as she was pulled further into the narrative. The climax of the vision was a stormy night, much like the one Jenna had experienced, where a confrontation in the music room turned deadly, the details shrouded in shadow and screams. As the vision faded, Jenna found herself back in the spectral music room with the spirit, now a more defined figure, her expression one of profound sadness and longing for justice. It was clear that her death was the catalyst for the haunting, her spirit bound to the school, replaying her final moments and the music that was both her joy and her curse. The connection between Jenna and the spirit grew stronger, their fates intertwined by the unfolding mystery and the shared desire to uncover the truth. Jenna realized that to free the spirit and herself, she would need to solve the mystery of the past, to bring to light the secrets that had been buried with the young pianist. But as Jenna prepared to delve deeper into the school's dark history, the spectral world around her began to unravel, the shadows growing more menacing, as if forces within the school were conspiring to keep the truth hidden. Whispers filled the air, not just from the spirit but other voices, angry and fearful, that did not want their secrets exposed. The school itself seemed alive, its corridors and rooms shifting, trying to disorient and trap Jenna in this ghostly realm. The line between the past and present blurred further, the horrors of history bleeding into the reality of the present day, creating a tapestry of terror that Jenna had to navigate with the spirit's guidance. As they moved through the shifting halls, the spirit's urgency conveyed a warning. They were not alone in seeking the truth, and not all spirits within the school's walls were friendly or benign. Some were manifestations of the very malevolence that had led to the tragedy eager to keep their deeds in the shadows. Jenna, caught in a battle between spectral forces, must uncover the truth of the last day of school that turned into a nightmare, a truth that threatened to repeat its cycle of tragedy unless brought to light. The journey through Hillside High's haunted history was far from over, and the darkest secrets of its last day of school were yet to be revealed. Hidden deep within the heart of the spectral world, she now navigated with the pianist's spirit as her guide. 
Jenna, with the spirit of the pianist as her guide, traversed the shifting spectral corridors of Hillside High, each step taking her deeper into the heart of the school's dark past. The air was thick with the echoes of secrets and sins long buried, the walls whispering of hidden truths and the price of their concealment. The school, now a realm where past atrocities and present fears merged, seemed determined to guard its secrets. Phantom figures lurked in the periphery of Jenna's vision, some merely shadows of former students and teachers, others more sinister, their intentions malevolent, remnants of the dark forces that had once dominated the school. As they moved toward the heart of the building, the environment became increasingly hostile. The temperature dropped, objects moved of their own accord, and the light twisted, casting disturbing shadows. Jenna felt the presence of something ancient and angry, a force awakened by her intrusion and the spirit's desire for justice. They reached the old library, a place where the fabric of reality was thin, and the past bled into the present. Here, the spirit's memories became more vivid, showing Jenna the days leading up to the tragic last day of school. She saw the pianist, her face etched with fear and determination, researching the dark history of Hillside High, uncovering layers of corruption and cruelty that had been carefully concealed. The library, once a place of learning, had also been a meeting point for those who wielded power within the school's shadows. Jenna watched as the pianist discovered secret records and documents, evidence of a conspiracy that reached far beyond the school, involving powerful individuals who would stop at nothing to protect their secrets. As the visions faded, Jenna found herself standing in the library, the spirit beside her, its expression one of grim resolve. The silence was oppressive, heavy with anticipation, as if the school itself was holding its breath. Suddenly, the room darkened and a cold wind swept through, scattering papers and whispering threats. Shadows coalesced into more tangible forms, figures of those who had conspired in the darkness, their spectral faces twisted in anger and fear. They were the guardians of the school's secrets, bound to protect them, even in death. Jenna, with the spirit's aid, confronted these guardians, demanding the truth be revealed. A chaotic cacophony of voices erupted, each trying to drown out the other, offering fragments of the story, a mosaic of guilt and justification. Through this tumult, Jenna pieced together the reality of that fateful last day, understanding the motives and the machinations that led to tragedy. The school was more than a battleground of supernatural forces. It was a nexus of human ambition, greed, and betrayal, where the supernatural had been manipulated and provoked to serve darker ends. The pianist, in her pursuit of truth, had threatened to expose not just the school's hidden horrors, but a network of corruption that extended beyond its walls. As Jenna absorbed the revelations, the spectral guardians grew more aggressive, their forms becoming more defined, more threatening. They warned of dire consequences if Jenna continued her quest for the truth, their voices merging into a menacing storm of sound. But amidst this tumult, a clearer, stronger voice emerged, that of the pianist, her tone imbued with a power that seemed to stem from the very essence of Hillside High. She declared that the time for secrets and silence was over, that the truth must come to light to prevent the past from repeating its tragedies. The confrontation reached a fever pitch, the air crackling with the energy of unleashed emotions and supernatural forces. Jenna, standing at the epicenter of this storm, realized that the key to ending the haunting and the cycle of tragedy lay in exposing the truth, in bringing the hidden history of Hillside High into the light. As the spectral guardians rallied for a final attempt to silence her, Jenna prepared to uncover the darkest secrets of Hillside High, her resolve as strong as the spirit beside her. The school's last day of horror was not just a tale of ghosts and the supernatural but a reflection of human flaws and the lengths to which people would go to conceal them. The story of Hillside High's true last day of school horror was on the verge of being fully revealed, its implications echoing through the spectral and real worlds promising a confrontation that would shatter the silence of decades. The line between the past and present, the living and the dead, was blurring, setting the stage for the final act in the school's haunted history. The library, now a battleground between the spectral guardians of the school's dark past and Jenna, with the spirit of the pianist as her ally, became a vortex of swirling energies, each side determined to prevail. The guardians, once influential figures in life, used their knowledge of the school's arcane secrets to unleash a barrage of psychic assaults, manifesting as spectral visions of torment and fear designed to break Jenna's will. 
Amidst the chaos, the pianist's spirit grew stronger, its form becoming more solid, more present, as if the library, the heart of the school's history, was a source of power for her. She played a protective role, shielding Jenna from the worst of the attacks, her music now a countermelody to the discord sown by the Guardians, weaving a protective barrier of sound and light. Jenna, empowered by the spirit's support, navigated through the tempest of memories and illusions, her mind focused on uncovering the central truth that tied all the disparate threads together. She saw flashes of the school's foundation, the construction over an ancient site of power, and the subsequent pact made with darker forces to secure the school's prosperity and influence. The Guardians, desperate to maintain their hold on the secrets, conjured images of the school's golden days, attempting to overshadow the underlying corruption with a facade of glory and success. But Jenna, guided by the pianist's spirit, looked beyond the veneer, uncovering the sacrifices made in the name of ambition, the lives ruined and lost to keep the school's true nature hidden. As the conflict escalated, the library itself seemed to take sides, the shelves bending and warping, books flying like missiles, and the very walls pulsating with the energy of centuries of concealed truths. The battle was not just with the guardians but with the school, or rather, the entity that had been awakened and bound to its foundations, its power intertwined with the institution's fate. The pianist's spirit, revealing her deep connection to the entity and the land, began to channel the ancient energies of the site, her music becoming a powerful force that started to break down the Guardian's resistance. She showed Jenna the final piece of the puzzle, the event that had led to her death and the subsequent binding of her spirit to the school. A ritual gone wrong, an attempt to harness the entity's power that ended in tragedy, sparking the cycle of hauntings and horror. As the night wore on, the struggle reached a critical moment, the energies within the library coalescing into a blinding nexus of light and sound. Jenna, at the center, felt a profound connection to the school and its hidden history, her fate now inextricably linked with the entity and the spirit of the pianist. The guardians, their forms weakening under the onslaught of truth and revelation, made a final desperate attempt to silence Jenna, channeling the last of their power into a spectral storm that threatened to consume her mind. But the pianist's spirit, her presence now overwhelming, stood firm, her music rising to a crescendo that pierced the darkness, shattering the Guardian's illusions and exposing the core of lies and betrayal. In this climactic moment, the truth of the last day of school horror was laid bare, the shadows of the past dispelled by the light of understanding and acceptance. Jenna, standing with the spirit of the pianist, faced the raw essence of the school's legacy, ready to confront the entity and the deeper truths of Hillside High, the echoes of the last day's nightmare merging with the dawn of a new understanding, setting the stage for the final act in the haunted history of Hillside High. As the spectral storm unleashed by the Guardians clashed with the protective melody of the pianist's spirit, the library transformed into a realm where the physical and the ethereal intersected, creating a crucible for the final confrontation. Jenna, her resolve hardened by the revelations and truths uncovered, stood as the fulcrum between the past's shadows and the potential for future light. The battle in the library reached its zenith, the air thick with the power of unleashed spirits and ancient energies. The guardians, their forms flickering and waning under the relentless assault of the pianist's music, began to fragment, their spectral essence dissolving into the ether, their grip on the present weakening. In this chaos, the entity bound to the school's foundation stirred, its power resonating with the tumult above. It was an ancient force, awakened by the construction of Hillside High and bound by rituals and pacts that had been corrupted by greed and ambition. Now, with the school's secrets laid bare, it saw release from the chains of its servitude, its fate intertwined with Jenner and the spirit of the pianist. Jenna felt the entity's awakening, its immense power and ancient sorrow flooding through the library, mingling with the remnants of the battle. She understood that the entity was not inherently malevolent, but had been twisted by the actions of those who sought to control it for their own ends. The pianist's spirit, now nearly corporeal in her strength, played her final piece, a requiem for the lost and a hymn of liberation for the band. Her music echoed through the corridors of Hillside High, reaching the depths where the entity lay chained, its melody a key unlocking the shackles of centuries. 
As the music swelled, the walls of the library began to crumble, not into ruin but dissolving the barrier between the school and the entity's prison. Jenner, guided by the spirit, moved through the disintegrating library to the very heart of the school, where the entities corpulsed with a desperate desire for freedom. The scene was surreal, a convergence of time and space, where the essence of the school, the entity, and the spirits of the past coalesced. Jenner, standing at the center, became the conduit for the entity's release, her own spirit mingled with the pianists, offering solace and a path to redemption. The final moments were a symphony of light and darkness, music and silence, as the entity, with Jenner's assistance, broke free from its bonds, its form a maelstrom of energy-seeking equilibrium after decades of containment and pain. The school, its physical form now irrelevant, became a gateway between worlds, a place of transition and transformation. In the eye of this storm, Jenner and the pianist spirit faced the entity, not as adversaries but as liberators, their combined strength and understanding allowing the ancient force to find peace, to transcend the confines of Hillside High and ascend to a plane of existence where it could no longer be harmed or exploited. As the entity's presence faded, the turmoil subsided, the school's halls quieting, the spectral remnants of the past dissipating like mist at sunrise. The library, once a battleground of spiritual forces, settled into a serene stillness, its books and relics untouched, silent witnesses to the night's extraordinary events. Jenner, now alone, stood amidst the calm, the weight of the night's revelations heavy upon her. The pianist's spirit had found peace, her final melody a lasting echo in the quiet of the library, a testament to her journey from tragedy to liberation. The sun rose, casting light through the fractured walls of Hillside High, illuminating the remnants of the spectral world that had briefly merged with the real. Jenner, forever changed by the night's ordeal, knew that the story of the last day of school horror was not just a tale of ghosts and ancient entities but a narrative of human choices, of the power of truth and the necessity of reconciliation with the past. As the new day began, Jenna stepped out of the remains of the library, her path forward now clear, carrying with her the lessons of Hillside High, a place where the boundaries between history and myth, reality and legend, had been irrevocably blurred, setting the stage for new chapters in the ongoing saga of the human and the supernatural. In the aftermath of the entity's release and the dissolution of the spectral guardians, Hillside High lay silent, its secrets finally laid bare. Jenner, walking through the now tranquil halls, felt the weight of history around her, the echoes of countless untold stories etched into the very fabric of the building. As the light of dawn painted the school in soft hues, the stark reality of the night's events became evident. The physical damage to the library and surrounding areas was significant, but the deeper impact was on the veil between the seen and unseen, which had been irrevocably altered. Jenner, her connection to the school's hidden depths now profound and unbreakable, sensed that the end of the haunting was not the end of the story. The entity's release had solved one mystery, but had set the stage for new challenges. The balance between the natural and supernatural forces at Hillside High had shifted, and Jenna knew that this equilibrium needed to be maintained. As she navigated the quiet corridors, she pondered the future. The school could no longer function as just an educational institution, it had become a significant site on the paranormal map a place where the barrier between worlds was thin, where history and mystery intertwined in every corner. The realization that she was now a guardian of this nexus was daunting yet empowering. Jenna understood that the pianist's spirit, in leading her through the night's ordeal, had passed on a legacy, a responsibility to protect and explore the depths of Hillside High's newfound identity. Her thoughts were interrupted by a subtle shift in the atmosphere, a gentle reminder that the school was still alive with unseen energies, that the story of the last day's horror was just one chapter in an ongoing saga. The entity, though no longer imprisoned, was part of the land, its essence intertwined with the school's destiny. Jenna felt a pull towards the basement, an area of the school largely forgotten in the chaos of the night. The basement, she realized, 
could hold the key to understanding the new dynamics at play, the foundation where the entity had been bound, and where residual powers might linger. Descending the stairs, the air grew cooler, the silence more pronounced. The basement, untouched by time, was a labyrinth of old storage rooms, archives, and forgotten spaces, each door and corridor holding the potential for new discoveries and dangers. As she explored, Jenna came across a room sealed with symbols that resonated with the ones she'd seen in the library, indications of ancient protections and bindings. Her heart quickened as she recognized these markers as a sign of significant power or knowledge hidden within. Carefully, she traced her fingers over the symbols, feeling a tingling response, a sign of the latent energy still active behind the sealed floor. The symbols, familiar yet foreign, seemed to invite her in, promising answers and deeper insights into the school's true nature and her role in its future. Opening the door required more than physical force, it needed an understanding and respect for the arcane. Jenner, guided by intuition and the remnants of the night's revelations, whispered an acknowledgement of the past's pain and a vow to seek balance and truth. The door responded, the symbols glowing briefly before fading, allowing her access to the room beyond. Inside, she found an archive of sorts, filled with artifacts, documents, and relics that spanned the school's history, each item pulsating with its own story, waiting to be told. Among these relics, Jenna's attention was drawn to an ancient tome, its cover adorned with the same symbols that had sealed the room. She felt an immediate connection to the book, a sense of destiny entwining her path with the secrets it held. As she opened the tome, the pages revealed not just the history of Hillside High but the lore of the land it was built upon, detailing the rituals, pacts, and powers that had converged at the site. The book was a compendium of knowledge, a guide to the supernatural forces that had shaped the school's legacy. Jenner, immersed in the tome's revelations, realized that the story of Hillside High was far from over. The school was a keeper of ancient wisdom, a center where the past and present coexisted, and where she was destined to play a crucial role in its ongoing narrative. With the rising sun casting light into the basement's depths, Jenna felt a renewed sense of purpose. The last day of school horror had ended, but her journey into the mysteries of Hillside High and the balance between worlds had just begun, each page of the ancient tome promising new adventures and challenges in the intertwined realms of the mundane and the magical. Jenna, with the ancient tome in hand, felt as if she had unlocked a gateway to the untold history of Hillside High and the land it stood upon. The book contained not just accounts of the past but also prophetic writings, cryptic passages that hinted at future events and trials, suggesting that the school was a focal point in a much larger cosmic tapestry. As she delved deeper into the tome's contents, Jenna uncovered references to cycles of power, periods when the veil between worlds would thin, and the school would become a crossroads for entities both benign and malevolent. These cycles were tied to celestial events and the land's own rhythms, each period offering opportunities for great knowledge but also significant peril. The basement, a treasure trove of artifacts and ancient records, seemed to be the heart of Hillside High's mystical properties, a place where the energy of the land was strongest. Among the relics, Jenna found tools and items that had been used in the school's hidden rituals, each piece resonating with an energy that pulsed in time with the tome's revelations. Determined to understand her role in this ongoing saga, Jenna studied the tome's predictions and warnings, piecing together the fragments of lore with the events she had experienced. It became clear that her encounter with the pianist's spirit and the entity was just the beginning, a prelude to a series of challenges that would test her resolve and her ability to navigate the shadowy world she had become a part of. The tome spoke of guardians, individuals who had stood as protectors of the school's secrets and mediators between the physical and supernatural realms. Jenna realized that she was becoming a guardian, her fate intertwined with Hillside High's destiny chosen or perhaps destined to oversee the balance of powers at play within its walls. As she absorbed the weight of her new role, the basement around her seemed to come alive, 
the shadows whispering of hidden dangers and allies, of parts yet to be explored and decisions that would shape the future of both the school and the wider world it affected. The realization that she was not alone in this journey was both a comfort and a warning. The tone hinted at others, individuals who would either aid or oppose her in the coming cycles of power. These allies and adversaries were linked to the school's history, descendants or spiritual successors of those who had shaped its legacy. The sun's ascent brought a semblance of normalcy to the school, the light filtering into the basement, dispelling the deepest shadows and offering a reminder of the world outside. Jenna knew that while the immediate danger had passed, the balance between day and night, light and shadow, was a constant dynamic, reflecting the larger balance she was now a part of. Emerging from the basement, Jenna felt the school around her, a silent but potent presence. Hillside High was more than a collection of buildings, it was a living entity, shaped by its history, the land, and the people who had passed through its halls. As she walked through the quiet corridors, the echoes of past events and future possibilities mingled in the air, the school a nexus of parts that span time and space. Jenner, the new guardian of Hillside High, stood at the crossroads of these parts, ready to face the mysteries and challenges ahead, her journey interwoven with the fate of a place where the veil between worlds was forever in flux. With the ancient tome as her guide and the spirit of the pianist as her mentor, Jenna prepared to navigate the cycles of power, to uncover further secrets, and to protect the delicate balance that had been restored. The story of Hillside High, with its blend of history, horror, and heroism, continued to unfold, each day a step into the unknown, where the legacy of the last day of school horror was a chapter in a much larger, ongoing narrative. As Jenna stepped out of the basement, the light of day seemed to wash over Hillside High, casting long shadows that hinted at the hidden depths of its legacy. The school, now silent and seemingly at peace, held a new meaning for her. With the ancient tome under her arm, she felt the weight of centuries of history and the responsibility of her new role as its guardian. Walking through the halls, Jenna sensed the subtle form of energy that permeated the building, a remnant of the night's events and a sign of the ongoing presence of the supernatural forces at play. She realized that Hillside High was a living archive of the paranormal, a focal point where the mundane met the mystical, and her connection to it was now irrevocable. As she pondered her next steps, Jenna was drawn to the school's old auditorium, a place where the community had gathered for generations, celebrating achievements and milestones. Now, it seemed to beckon her, promising a deeper understanding of her connection to the school's past and future. Entering the auditorium, Jenna felt a shift in the air, a palpable sense of history that resonated with the tome's revelations. The stage, bathed in shafts of light filtering through the high windows, became a focal point for the energies coursing through the school. Jenna approached, her footsteps echoing in the vast, empty space, each sound a reminder of the countless moments that had unfolded in this place. Setting the tome on the stage, Jenner opened it to a page marked by a strange symbol, one that mirrored the architecture of the auditorium itself. As she traced the symbol with her fingers, the air around her shimmered, and the history of Hillside High began to unfold in a vivid tableau, a spectral performance played out on the stage. Visions of the past, both dark and light, Paraded before her, scenes of joyous celebrations intertwined with secretive gatherings and rituals conducted under the cloak of night. Jenna saw the figures of past guardians, their faces etched with the burden of their duties, warriors in the shadows who had battled unseen threats, maintaining the balance between worlds. The auditorium, a crossroads of emotions and energies, held the imprints of these events, each layer of history a thread in the larger tapestry of Hillside High's story. Jenna realized that the auditorium was not just a place of assembly but a ceremonial space, integral to the school's role as a boundary between realms. As the visions faded, Jenna was left with a profound sense of purpose. The auditorium, like the rest of the school, was a key to understanding and managing the supernatural forces that intersected at Hillside High. The tome, now clearly a guidebook and record of the school's paranormal legacy, 
was her link to the guardians who had come before, offering wisdom and warnings for the path ahead. The day waned and shadows lengthened, casting the auditorium in a twilight glow. Jenner, standing center stage, felt the pull of her new role as a guardian. She knew that the balance she had helped restore was delicate, and the coming days would test her strength and resolve. The auditorium, once a place of public gathering, had become a private sanctum where the secrets of Hillside High were revealed, where Jenna could connect with the school spirit and the legacy of guardianship passed down through the ages. She was now a part of a lineage that transcended time, a defender of a nexus where the earthly and the ethereal converged. As the light faded and the auditorium grew dark, Jenna prepared for the journey ahead, the ancient tome her guide, and the school her charge. The legacy of the last day of school horror was just one chapter in an ongoing saga, a narrative that Jenna was now a central figure in, tasked with facing the mysteries and challenges that lay hidden in the heart of Hillside High. The auditorium's darkness enveloped Jenner as the day gave way to night, the boundaries between the natural and the supernatural growing ever thinner within the confines of Hillside High. With the ancient tome as her anchor, Jenna felt a deepening connection to the school, its secrets whispering to her, revealing the layers of history and magic woven into its very stones. As night fully descended, the auditorium seemed to breathe with a life of its own, the shadows dancing at the periphery of Jenna's vision, hinting at the unseen presences that roamed the school's halls. She realized that the auditorium, with its history of gatherings and emotions, was a nexus of psychic energy, a place where the veil between worlds was at its thinnest. Jenner, seated on the stage with the tome before her, delved into its pages by the light of a single lantern. The book revealed the cyclical nature of the supernatural events at Hillside High, tied to celestial alignments and the land's own ancient rhythms. It spoke of upcoming challenges, of entities drawn to the school's power, and of allies who would appear to aid her in her guardianship. As she read, Jenna felt the weight of her responsibility as the new guardian. The school was not just a building but a living entity with a will and purpose shaped by centuries of existence, and she was now its protector, its link to the outside world. The tome also hinted at a deeper mystery, the origin of the school's power and its connection to the land. There were references to an ancient wellspring of energy, a source from which the school drew its supernatural strength. This source, hidden and guarded through the ages, was the key to understanding the true nature of Hillside High and its place in the wider world of the paranormal. Intrigued and determined, Jenna decided that her first task as the Guardian would be to locate this wellspring, to understand the source of the school's power and how to protect it. The tome provided clues, cryptic passages that spoke of alignments and gateways, of a heartstone that anchored the school's energies to the land. The night deepened, and the auditorium became a place out of time, a stage for the unfolding drama of Jenna's new role. The air was thick with potential, with the power of untold stories and hidden truths waiting to be uncovered. Suddenly, the lantern flickered, casting elongated shadows that twisted and writhed across the walls. Jenna sensed a shift, a ripple in the fabric of the school's reality, as if something ancient and powerful had turned its gaze upon her. The feeling was not threatening but expectant, as though the school itself was acknowledging her resolve and offering its silent support. Determined to meet the challenges ahead, Jenna closed the tome and stood, her eyes adjusting to the darkness that was now her ally and her realm. The auditorium, once a place of light and sound, had become a portal to the deeper mysteries of Hillside High, a meeting place of past and future, where Jenna would navigate the complex dance of her new responsibilities. Stepping off the stage, she felt an invisible thread guiding her, leading her towards the heart of the school's mysteries. Each step was a step deeper into the unknown, but Jenna was no longer just a student or a reluctant participant in the school's haunted history. She was its guardian, its defender, and its explorer, ready to face whatever lay ahead in the shadowed halls and hidden chambers of Hillside High. The story of the last day of school horror had ended, but Jenna's story, 
The story of Hillside High and its place in the tapestry of the supernatural was just beginning, each night a new chapter in an ongoing saga of darkness and light, of secrets revealed and mysteries yet to be discovered. Jenner, guided by the invisible thread of fate and the ancient tome's wisdom, moved through the darkened halls of Hillside High, her senses attuned to the subtle energies that permeated the school. The building, silent in the physical world, was alive with whispers and echoes in the supernatural realm, a symphony of past events and future possibilities playing out in the shadows. The thread led her to the heart of the school, to a part of the building that was old and rarely visited, where the fabric of reality seemed thinner, and the air pulsed with hidden power. Here, the walls themselves told stories of ancient rites and forgotten pacts, the stone imbued with the memories of those who had walked these corridors before. Jenna found herself in front of an ornate door, its surface carved with symbols that resonated with the ones in the tome. These markings spoke of guardianship and protection, of a threshold between the known and the unknown. With a deep breath, she pushed the door open, stepping into a room that seemed to exist outside of time. Inside, the room was circular, with a domed ceiling that depicted a map of the stars as they would have appeared centuries ago. In the center lay a stone dais, upon which rested a crystal that pulsed with a soft, inner light. This, Jenna realized, was the heartstone mentioned in the tome, the source of Hillside High's supernatural power and the anchor for the school's connection to the land and the cosmos. As she approached the heartstone, the room came alive with light and shadow, the star map on the ceiling mirroring the movements of the celestial bodies outside. Jenna understood that this room was not just a physical space but a nexus point, a place where the energies of the earth and the stars converged, channeled through the heartstone. The air around her thrummed with power, and Jenna felt a connection to the heartstone, a recognition that she was indeed the new guardian, chosen by fate and bound by the legacy of those who had served before her. She placed her hands on the crystal, and a flood of visions filled her mind, scenes of the school's creation the laying of the foundation stones, and the rituals that had consecrated the land. These visions were interspersed with glimpses of the future, potential paths that lay ahead, some filled with light and others shrouded in darkness. Jenna saw the challenges and trials that awaited, the forces that would seek to control or destroy the school's power, and the allies who would come to aid her in her guardianship. The connection to the Heartstone was a baptism, a rite of passage that confirmed her role as the protector of Hillside High. With this bond established, Jenna knew she had access to the school's memories and its power, a reservoir of energy she could draw upon when needed, but also a responsibility to maintain the balance, to ensure that this power was never misused. As the vision subsided, Jenna found herself back in the room, the Heartstone's light now a steady, reassuring glow. The night had passed, and the first light of dawn was beginning to seep into the room, casting long, golden rays across the stone floor. Jenna stepped out of the room, feeling the Heartstone's energy coursing through her, a constant, pulsing reminder of her connection to Hillside High and its legacy. The school, in the light of day, seemed almost ordinary, but Jenna knew better. She had seen its hidden heart, felt its ancient rhythms, and understood its place in the broader tapestry of the supernatural world. The story of Hillside High, with its layers of history, mystery, and magic, was now her story too. Jenner, as the Guardian, would navigate the challenges and opportunities this role brought, defending the school from threats, exploring its secrets, and maintaining the balance between the seen and unseen worlds. The journey ahead was fraught with unknowns, but Jenna was ready, armed with the knowledge from the ancient tome and the power of the Heartstone. Hillside High, once a place of routine education, had become a living, breathing entity in the world of the paranormal, with Jenna at its center, the key to its past and the architect of its future. As the new day dawned, Jenna stood before Hillside High, its stoic structure silhouetted against the rising sun. She had traversed the shadowed halls of history, unearthed secrets buried deep within its foundations, and forged an unbreakable bond with the heart of the school itself. 
Now, as the guardian of this nexus between worlds, she was the keeper of its mysteries and its protector against the encroaching darkness. With the ancient tome tucked under her arm and the power of the heartstone coursing through her veins, Jenna felt a newfound resolve. The school, once a mere backdrop to her everyday life, had become the focal point of a cosmic struggle, a bastion against forces that sought to tip the balance between light and shadow. As she walked through the quiet campus, the signs of the previous night's turmoil were visible, broken windows, scorched earth, and doors hanging off hinges. Yet, amidst the chaos, there was a sense of order, a feeling that the school was resetting itself, healing its wounds with the dawn of each new day. Jenna knew that her journey as the Guardian was just beginning. There would be trials ahead, entities drawn to the school's power, seeking to exploit or destroy it. But she also knew that allies would emerge, drawn by the same forces that had chosen her, ready to stand by her side in the defense of Hillside High. The ancient tome, now a constant companion, held the wisdom of the ages, guidance for the challenges ahead, and secrets yet to be uncovered. Jenna was no longer just a student but a sentinel, standing at the threshold of the known and the unknown, ready to face whatever came from the shadows. In the distance, the town stirred, its inhabitants unaware of the silent battle that had raged in the night, of the sacrifices made and the victories won within the walls of the old school. Jenna smiled, her resolve as strong as the stone foundations of Hillside High. She was ready to defend, to learn, and to guide the school through the coming cycles of power and turmoil. With the heartstone as her beacon and the tome as her map, Jenna stepped into the light of a new day, her path clear, her spirit unbroken. The story of Hillside High's last day of horror had concluded, but the legend of its guardian was just beginning, a tale of courage, discovery, and the eternal dance between darkness and light.